good evening everybody it's zechariah from running for heroes sadly tonight for our third and final mile we're running for another fallen harris county deputy constable who have lost her life in lyme duty tonight i'm running for fallen deputy constable jennifer chavez she worked with the harris county constable's office precinct 7 in texas and her end of watch was april 2nd of 2022 and lost her life after her patrol car was struck by a drunk driver and then burst into flames. Even though her age and service is not readily available, we do know she's behind a loving family. Tonight I'm running with the blue line flag in her honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track loop at my school, which is the equivalent of one mile in her honor. And I'm going to be joined side by many first responders, my and some supporters, and my whole family who are joining us in this run. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hard time they're going through. Sorry, um, I'm gonna do a quick prayer in honor of her whole family and department through the hard time they are going through, and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight Zechariah running his third and final mile this evening. This mile tonight in honor of fallen Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavez. She worked with the Harris County Constable's Office Precinct 7 in Texas, tragically losing her life on April the 2nd, 2022, after the patrol unit that she was in was struck by a drunk driver, sadly burst into flames, trapping her within the vehicle. We do not know her age or her length of service as it was not readily available, but we do know she leaves behind a loving family. Zechariah, along with local supporters here tonight, completing their first of seven laps this evening, which is one mile to honor the life of fallen Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavez. We're always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah and tonight helping to pay tribute to fallen Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavez. We have members of our home county agency, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office here tonight. Also running with Zechariah tonight, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based at the Orlando International Airport. Once again, we're here today to pay tribute to a fallen hero, another fallen hero from the Harris County region this mile for fallen Harris County Constable's Office, Precinct 7, Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavez. End of watch, 4222. Tragically losing her life after a patrol car was struck by a drunk driver, and the resulting impact caused her patrol car to burst into flames. We do not know her age or her length of service, but she leaves behind a loving family. Zachariah now completing his second lap to honor this hero tonight. Every mile that's completed by Zechariah, he carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. The flag he carries tonight, the Blue Line flag, will work its way to the family of fallen Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavez, along with the note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like information on how you can also be a part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow-up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you could be a part of this mission. As Zechariah completes this lap, starts lap number four. I'm gonna go silent and I'm gonna remain silent for the duration of the run as we reflect on the life of this hero, fallen Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavez. We extend our thoughts and our prayers to everybody with the Harris County Constable's Office in Precinct 7. We also extend our heartfelt prayers to everybody in the Houston area, as well as her family. We know they're mourning the loss of yet another hero. We hope this run honors Deputy Constable Sheriff Jennifer Chavez well.
Deputy Constable.
Zachary, any final words tonight for the family of fallen Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavez? To the whole family of fallen Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavez, everybody with the Harris County Constable's Office, especially Precinct 7, along with her whole entire family and all the friends she made while serving, we hope you all heal very soon to the passing of your loved one. This was a very scary accident, or incident I should say, involving, first of all, a drunk driver. I say this every single time and I continue to say it because it's every single few days we have to run for a drunk driving incident that kills an officer. Please make the best decisions when you're driving. Drunk driving is something that is sadly affects so many people and can even kill people. And the fact that we're running weekly just for officers that were killed from drunk driving incidents just shows you that, that, that that's only one profession. That's only one type of profession that have lost their life from drunk driving. And unfortunately, because of the, the, because of the hit um, of the drunk driver, her car burst into flames and ultimately caused her to lose her life. She was an amazing woman. Even though I don't know how long she served or what her age was, I could tell she was a very young, dedicated person. And I know she loved serving her community well. If you are part of the family, I'll be sending you this blind flag around tonight in a hero's honor, along with a handwritten note that I've already written, and that is ready to be sent out in a hero's name. There is absolutely no preference on what we want you to do with the flag with the notes, but whatever you decide to do with it, we hope it forever brings you comfort in knowing how much of a hero Deputy Constable Chavez was, and how much of a legacy she'll continue to lead on for other deputies, Deputy Constables, who work with the Harris County Constable's Office. If all of you tonight now join us in two things. First of all, a 21 second moment of silence. Just like the 21 gun salute to each second day, King, what amazing things she did during her life, including as a deputy constable in her community. Each second can also dedicate maybe a life she saved. If all of you would now please bow our heads and join us in this 21 seconds, followed by a prayer, please do right now. Dear God, today we came out here to run for three fallen first responders, including Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavez, who lost her life a few days ago from being struck and killed by a drunk driver. God, not only did she lose her life with the Harris County Constable's Office, but she lost her life with many friends and family she left behind. She was a young, dedicated person and lost her life way too soon. God, watch over the family and department through hearts and are going through. I cannot imagine the sorrow they're going through, knowing that this was an unexpected loss. So continue to watch over anybody going through a hard time, and please, Keep everybody in the right decisions when they're driving, because drunk driving is a huge thing that loses lots of officers every single year. God, this is not only the uh, run we did that tonight for Harris County Constable's Office, but we also ran for the Harris County Sheriff's Office tonight. Both from the Harris County area and the Houston area in general have lost so many first responders since we started. One of the top um, cities and counties that we've had to run for. So God, I ask you to bring your condolences over there and at the same time, just keep all of them safe because another loss is just going to be another hurtful family and department to do hard time that they're facing even throughout these first responders they have already lost in the past year. Thank you again, God. Just let me pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us in these three runs. Now, now that is the end of the run, I do want to thank the Simla County Sheriff's Office for coming out. I want to thank the Winter Springs Police Chief for coming out um, for the first run. I also want to thank um, some of our board members who, um, uh, one of our board members who is her first time coming out, and she also walked for the two. Houston for Spar Snake as she lives in the Houston area. I also want to thank all the other supporters and the US Customs Board Protection for all their continuous support coming out every single night, including my family. We hope you all have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.